Hi everyone, welcome to the Active Resonance Chemistry. So today, today we discussed the very important uh, lectures on uh, CSR net advanced name reactions. Okay, now that is nothing but a Suzuki coupling reaction. So which are palladium catalyzed new CC bond formation reactions. Okay, so this is the general uh, definition regarding to the Suzuki coupling reactions. So I don't want to waste your time. That's why I'll already write the palladium uh, like definition of Suzuki coupling reaction. So this is the definite definition. Palladium catalyzed new CC bond formation from organo halo or triplets organo halo or triplets and organo boron reagents and organo boron reagents in the presence of bases so here bases uh, must and should in the presence of bases is called suzuki coupling reaction is called suzuki coupling reaction so the general representation of reaction is alkyl halides or triplets or alkyl triplets or like um, uh, like mesylates whatever so alkyl halides or triplets so in the presence of uh, Argano boron boron reagents. These these are the uh, bor boronic esters. Okay, sometimes the boronic acids are also used. So alkyl halides, argano boron reagents in the presence of bases. In the presence of bases. Now we will get the new CC single bond. New CC single bond between the alkyl group attached to the borane and um, alkyl group attached to the halogen. Now here in between them new CC bond is formed. Such type of reactions are called Suzuki coupling reactions. Suzuki coupling reactions. Uh, so which was introduced by the Suzuki. So they are getting Nobel Prize in 2010. So approximately they are uh, they are introduced their uh, first evidences of the Suzuki coupling reaction in 1979 or 77 decades. Okay. Now here, the, but they are getting the Nobel Prize in 2010. 2010. So here, the uh, general uh, examples of uh, alkyl and uh, boronic esters. So here, R is equal to mainly the Suzuki was in uh, like uh, mainly Suzuki was synthesized a uh, stereo and regio specific stereo and uh, regio specific. Uh, reactions of like uh, conjugated dienes conjugated dienes now here again in ions in ions okay now uh, aromatic substituted alkenes aromatic substituted alkenes as well as uh, like diaryl compounds with different different substituents diaryl compounds with different uh, different substituents so uh, this is the main theme of the synthesis of suzuki coupling reactions uh, like a preparation of uh, the conjugated dienes in ions uh, like uh, aromatic uh, subst aromatic uh, benzene substituted uh, uh, like uh, alkenes now again by aryl compounds so, so these are the main thing so which are prepared from the like uh, r is equal to alkenyl halides okay whenever so here it is the alkene group here it is the alkene group here it is the aryl group aryl halides or sometimes here also it is the aryl groups okay so these are the ready to react with uh, like uh, uh, organo boron reagents so now here boron reagents are generally so here it is boronic acids here it is R group. Okay. So sometimes a boron reagent like here it is the like a so here it is phenol like a benzene whenever it is called phenol. So adjacent uh, OHS are called catechols. So these catechols which is formed with a boron boronic compound then it is called a catechol boring. Catechol boron so these are the commonly used uh, boronic boronic acid reagents in Suzuki coupling. So now here catechol boron called borane so now here in this uh, r dash r dash is equal to maybe alkyl or aryl or vinyl or uh, etc uh, like uh, several uh, several ligands which are used in the like suzuki coupling reactions suzuki coupling reactions now the general bases which are used in the suzuki coupling like uh, sodium ethoxides k3po4 k2co3 like uh, sodium hydroxides so such type of bases are used in the suzuki coupling reactions like a uh, k k k3 po4 like a phosphate hit uh, like a k2 so uh, so4 such type of sulfate bases naoh okay such type of bases are used in the like a suzuki reaction without a basis a suzuki is not possible suzuki reaction is not possible so now the base importance was explained by the like their mechanism their mechanism now let us synthesize some of the boronic compounds here like in the presence of grignard reagent or in the presence of uh, like organo lithium reagents so which are treated with a uh, like a uh, boron trialkyoxides trialkyoxides so now we will get the like here it is r dash r dash boron or or so this is the like a boronic ester which is the 
boronic ester so now here the boronic ester in presence of hydrolysis we will get them like a boronic acid reagents boronic acid reagents boronic acid so those boronic acids we are already discussed like catechol boron okay so here it is the catechol boron sometimes a uh, normal uh, like uh, boronic acids so here it is maybe alkyl group or vinyl group or allyl group whatever it may be such type of boronic acids are available so but these type of boronic acids will use the lack of atomic economy lack of atomic economy okay again uh, the purification are also difficult so here the purification also difficult uh, now the side product of purification it is also difficult so these uh, problems are overcome with the help of uh, like a uh, potassium hydrogen fluoride potassium hydrogen fluoride now we will get the r dash b of 3k plus uh, r dash oh plus kf r dash oh plus kf okay so these are the byproducts which are used in the like a uh, uh, in potassium hydrogen fluoride potassium hydrogen fluoride so these are trifluoride uh, boron trifluoride boron trifluoroboron so which which gives the more uh, more react more reactiveness towards the like a Suzuki coupling reaction so these all these problems overcome with with the presence of uh, trifluoroboronic acids trifluoroboronic acids so this is the major advantage of uh, boronic acid reactions so boronic acid reaction now let us discuss the the mechanical pathway of the Suzuki coupling reaction mechanical pathway of the Suzuki coupling reaction Now the catalytical mechanism uh, will include so like uh, several types so like ligand dissociation, uh, like uh, oxidative addition reaction, transmetallation reaction, uh, base overcome reaction, hydroxyl like a uh, reductive elimination reactions, reductive elimination reaction. Now let us go through them each and every step very clearly. So generally here it is the palladium L4 complex that is a palladium L4 that is a 18 electron or 16 electron complex. Whenever the successive steps uh, are ligand two ligands are uh, eliminated then it becomes a palladium L2 so this this step is called ligand dissociation process ligand dissociation process so in after the ligand dissociation now we use the like uh, which are used in the like alkyl halides in uh, our uh, Suzuki reaction so now here palladium or X here it is the L2 here the palladium oxidation state is equal to 0 now here palladium oxidation state is equal to 2 why because here minus 1 here minus 1 so palladium oxidation state increased by 2 units as well as the palladium ligand coordination number 2 to 4 that means it is also increased by the 2 units then it is called like a oxidative addition A is the oxidative addition now I'll go through the like another step here the uh, halogen groups without base there is no uh, Suzuki coupling reaction now here it requires the R dash O in here like a sodium metal oxide like any metal metal here minus here plus so these metal cation will abstract the halogen then it is eliminated as mx now here o r minus will substitute at the x plus so now it becomes a palladium or o r or o r dash now here it is the l2 it is the l2 whenever this group which is connected to the like um, our boronic compounds so o r O R here it is the R dash here it is the R dash so whenever our O R minus attack over the boron compound then it becomes B O R dash O R dash here another O R dash will overcome to the like a boron compound now it becomes a, its valency more than it uh, more than its valency now here it becomes O minus so that O mi that minus will neutralize it by the elimination of R dash so this R dash will go through the like a palladium group then it is eliminated as a, like a such type it is eliminated as B O R dash O R dash O R dash O R dash now here R dash will substitute it on the palladium group here palladium R R dash here I think it is it, it is better to take the like R double dash it is better to take the R double dash here R double dash R double dash now here it is eliminated as a B O R dash like a tetra alkoxy borate tetra alkoxy borate this is the major byproduct major byproduct not the major product it is the, uh, among the byproducts which is major so now here here we would like to take the like a tetra boron so tetra boron here one of the uh, or group substituted one of the alkyl group which is substituted by the or then it is eliminated as a tetra alkoxy boronate tetra alkoxy boronate now we will get the r r double dash with an l2 okay so the finally what we what we observed so here r and r dash eliminated as a product so now here R and R double dash getting the new CC bond, getting the new CC bond. So this is the catalytical loop of the 
Suzuki coupling reaction. But how here the four steps which are involved in the Suzuki coupling reaction is like a, here A is the oxidative addition. Oxidative addition. So that means uh, here the increment of two units of coordination number followed by the their oxidation state. Now here B is equal to hydroxy palladation. Hydroxy palladation. Okay. Now the, the step C is nothing but uh, here the like transmetallation. Transmetallation. Here metal group which is uh, like a uh, uh, which is uh, occupied by the RWS. That is another alkyl group. Now here step C is transmetallation. Transmetallation. Now the final step is uh, D. The final step is D. So here the increment of two units of coordination number as well as oxidation state is called oxidative addition. So the, decre the decreasing of a coordination number and uh, oxidation state by two units it is called uh, like a reductive elimination. Uh, oxidative addition followed by the reductive elimination. Okay. Now what we observed uh, in the overall reaction. Now here, so whatever the uh, starting material of catalyst, uh, we will get the like uh, their original position. Then it is called recyclization. Okay. Now we will get the our catalyst with purity. Okay. Recyclization. That means here these catalysts are used so many of the reaction, so many of the reaction. So that's why it is uh, it is uh, shown in the like a cyclic Tolman Tolman cyclic me mechanism, cyclic uh, catalytical mechanism. Why? Because here it is a uh, regenerated, regenerated. So our catalyst will regenerate it with a uh, uh, exact position, but it is used many number of cycles, uh, like 100 times, 150 times. That's why, so the uh, palladium catalyzer reactions are used regularly. Okay, so this is the simplest uh, um, cat catalytical mechanism regarding to the Suzuki coupling reaction. Okay, now we'll go through the, like uh, some of the examples which are given in the like previous year CSIR as well as uh, uh, many uh, which are uh, abstracted from the uh, more standard books. Okay, now I'll, I'll discuss the 15 problems regarding to the Su Suzuki coupling reaction. Suzuki coupling reaction. Okay, now before going to the problems, uh, I'll explain uh, the synthesis of uh, like E and Z uh, alkene boronic acids, like alkene boronate uh, compounds. So now here, so this is the simplest manner, which are prepared from the alkene groups. Now here, the first of all, E selectivity, E synthesized manner. Now here it is uh, alkene. So whenever here it is the alkene acidic proton, so which is uh, treated by the HbBr2, so which is uh, stabilized by the dimethyl sulfide, dimethyl sulfide. So here it is, uh, it having the like a HB. That means uh, whenever the all, uh, uh, like unsaturated compound will is, uh, will, it is attacked by the boron and hydrogen, then it is called a hydroboration process. Then it is called hydroboration. Now in the first step here, it undergoes the like hydroboration. Hydroboration always will use the syn addition. BBr2 like a S, di M, S dimethyl sulfide. Okay, now here it undergoes the syn addition. So hydroboration always it is the syn addition. So now we will get the product like this. Uh, we will get the product uh, like this. Whenever we use the like uh, alcohol, the for the following step, uh, further step is uh, uh, alcohol. So now we will get the C double bond C here H, uh, which is uh, substituted by the those boron groups and OR dash. OR dash are substituted by the uh, both uh, bromine groups, not boron groups both bromine groups now we will get the hydrogen hydrogen both are trans to each other then it is called evolifins then it is evolifins so instead of RO dash now we use it the like a, our uh, KHF2 potassium hydrogen fluoride now we will get the C double bond CH here H here BF BF like a trifluoro BF3 BF3K so trifluoro boronic potassium salt like that such type of salt here also we will get the trans product here also we will get the trans product generally like acetylene acetylene there is no halogen we will get the trans as a major product trans as a major product so, so in previous year CSIR 2000 17 question I think they are given in the such type of question with a like a catechol boron so now what will happen here it is the hydroboration so here it happens hydroboration that is this in addition see like a hydrogen here hydrogen boron this is the catechol group okay so now here we will get the similar type of group then we will get the like a Z, uh, sorry e olefins of boronic compounds e olefins of boronic compounds this is the simplest method to prepare the e olefins now what uh, now what about uh, Z olefins preparation method 
Z-olefins preparation method. Now here, so instead of uh, like a CH, we use the CX. We use the CX. Now here, same reagents HBBr2, which is uh, stabilized by the like a uh, dimethyl sulfide, which is stabilized by the dimethyl sulfide. Now here we will get the similar type CX. Here it is uh, hydrogen. Here it is boron, dibromine, like uh, which are uh, which are stabilized by the dimethyl sulfide, which are stabilized by the dimethyl sulfide. Now here in this case, we use the like a uh, uh, hydrogen. K hydrogen like uh, this type of isopropoxide groups. Uh, now here boron. So here these reagent uh, will use the hydrodion as a major product. Hydrodion as a major product. So now he these hydrodion will attack over the like a SN2 mechanism. That means uh, backside of the attack uh, will eliminate the hydrogen group. Uh, now we will get the uh, hydrogen as a back the plane. Our boron which is a sub, which is uh, replaced by the our isopropoxide. Now here I would like to take the isopropanol. Here boron groups are. Uh, uh, replaced by the isopropoxide. Okay, so now here boron groups are replaced by the isopropoxide. Isopropoxide. These are also alcohols. Okay, now here the major the major difference between the previous case and this case is here halogen, which is replaced by the SN2 mechanism, which is replaced by the hydrodion with the like uh, inversion of the configuration. That's why so back of the plane attack will use the Z as a major product. Will use the Z as a major product. So now. Not only that, we will use several other reagents like uh, alkyl lithium or arg uh, organic uh, magnesium halides. Now these are also attacked over the back side of the plant. Now we will get the, like both are possible. Here it may be possible for the, like a boron. Okay. OR dash, OR dash, here it is H. So here instead of OR, we are used particularly isopropoxy. So here it is possible for the both uh, like uh, trans as well as cis based on our alkyl group nature. So here uh, it, it changes their priority on the group like methyl or ethyl. So several groups are used the different types of isomer, either E isomer or Z isomer. So the major drawback whenever here halogen is, get, halogen is there, then attack of the inversion configuration. Instead of a uh, hydrogen, so it is gives the planar, that means a single Person periplanar attack of hydroboration. Okay, so this is the major preparation methods of uh, like E and Z olefinic boronic acids, boronic esters. Okay, now let us go through the, some of the problems regarding to the Suzuki coupling reaction. Okay, now let us solve the some of the problems regarding to the Suzuki reaction, which are very important reaction for CSAR net as well as uh, like gate jam jam students. Okay, so. Uh, don't neglect these problems very important okay now here the first step uh, first problem so here they are given in the like a uh, boronic uh, like a uh, catechol boranes so here it is olefin uh, sorry uh, it is olefin okay so catechol borane which is connected to the olefin here it having the like bromine so so here in this case of suzuki coupling reaction they are retain their stereochemistry either if it po po proceeds through the ek stereochemistry it gives the e it proceeds through the z stereochemistry it gives the z okay now here so it is the compound here whenever the boron attached carbon halogen attached carbon they, they both are having the new cc bond formation they both are produced in like a new cc bond the like new cc bond now here this is this forms the new cc bond over here so here it is a, like a phenyl hydrogen hydrogen now here it having the like a hydrogen c4 h9 here it is the hydrogen. So here it creates the new CC bond. That's enough. Okay. So the new CC bond uh, with retains the stereochemistry. Now here it is the Z stereochemistry. Here it is the E stereochemistry. Here it is the E stereochemistry. Here it gives 98% of enantiomeric excess. EZ isomer gives the 98% of enantiomeric excess. Now in the second case, the same reagent which is treated with like a aryl, like a aromatic halogen compounds, aryl halides. Now here also it gives the like a C4H9. So which is connected to the aromatic compounds that is a uh, like here it is the aromatic compound so which are connected to the o methyl which are connected to the o methyl sometimes it is uh, written as like this so it may be possible we will represent the compound like this so here it is o methyl o methyl so this is the simplest representation now here it creates this is bar with the retention of the stereochemistry this is the second problem now we'll go through the third problem here they are given in the like a catechol boron direct catechol boron but with a here it is the olive like a uh, like a alkyne so whenever these type of alkynes which are uh, treated with a uh, boronic acid so now we will get the like a syn hydroboration syn hydroboration this is the like a hydroboration formation reaction now i'll work out 
Okay. Now these boronic like these boronic acid, ester compound will hydrolyzed. Then it becomes these are or hydrolyzed. These are hydrolyzed. Then followed by the addition of uh, like here it is Br. Okay. Now here it it creates the new C-C bond with the retention of stereochemistry. With the retention of stereochemistry. Now here C six H thirteen. So here it is a uh, uh, like uh, our compound. Our compound. This is the retention. Now here it is a hydrogen. Here it is a hydrogen. This is our product Br. Okay. Okay. Now here creates the new C-C bond. Here creates the new C-C bond. So with the retention of stereochemistry. Here it is the Z isomer. It retains their Z isomer. Here it is the in in case of like a syn addition of hydroboration, it will use the J E is the major product. E is the major product. It retains their stereochemistry also. It retains their stereochemistry also. This is the third problem. I think this is given in the 2017 CSAR for four mark. Now I'll go through the fourth problem. So in the same reagent, we'll use the like a syn attack. That means here it is R R dash. Okay. Now here it is a hydrogen. Here it is the boron compound. So which is connected to the like a aryl bromide. Aryl bromide. That means here it creates the new aromatic ring. Okay. So this is the major advantage. In this case, we will talk about like a like a substituted uh, aromatic olefins. Now here also like a conjugated dienes are also prepared in these cases. Conjugated dienes. This is the major synthesis of a uh, cyclic reaction. Now let us let us solve this and uh, some other problems. Now the problem number five. So here uh, boron, uh, boron uh, like derivatives. Like here it is olefin boron derivative. Like uh, here it is the boron phenyl group. Now whenever which is connected to the like uh, alkyne group, uh, that means uh, here alkyne groups will use the like uh, these type of new C C bondation from product, new C C bond formation product. Now here which is connected to the alkyne that is C six H thirteen. Here it is in plus in E nine compounds synthesis. E nine compounds synthesis. Very easy question. Whenever we will know the concept of uh, like Suzuki coupling reaction. So here the halogen group and boron group, uh, the both carbons are connected to the new C C bond formation. New C C bond form. Now we will get the our product. Very easier manner. Okay, this is the like a uh, question number five. Now we we'll go through the uh, question number six. So here it is the best advantage method of Suzuki is it creates the biaryl compound derivatives. Now here it is boron uh, like a phenyl, uh, phenyl ring which is connected to the metal that is a toluene which are connected to the like a triflate. So triflate are also better leaving groups. That's why we use the triflate groups. So now here the leaving group capacity order like a iodine and uh, both triflate which are equal equal capacity to leave it uh, leave it as like a leaving group. Then after like a bromines so like a fluorides. Then after like sorry chlorides or fluorides. So generally these two are uh, sludgeish, but a uh, fluorine is very sludgeish when compared to the chlorine. So generally we are used in these type of uh, halide reagent in the case of like palladium catalyzer reaction. Sometimes we are used uh, like tosylate groups also. Okay. So this is the best method to prepare the like biaryl compounds. So in the seventh case here also it is the boron derivative. So here it is halogen. These two are connected to each other. Now here like a new C C bond with a uh, like a pyr pyridine ring, new C C bond with a pyridine ring, C O O methyl. Now here it is N O two. So this is the very simple question. Now again eight problem. So here it is, here it also like a halogen group. Here it is the boron group. These two are connected. Like a uh, quinoline. Now here it is the pyridine. Here it is the pyridine group. Very easier problem. So now ninth one. So which is very bulkier compound. Like it having the two tertiary butyl groups. Two tertiary butyl groups. Again one methoxy group, which are forms the new C C bond with uh, like aryl compounds. So here it prepared the very sterically like a sterically bulkier compounds also. Sterically bulkier compounds also. Not done. I'll uh, I'll wrap up. Now here it is the like a tenth tenth problem. So here it is the like a halogen which is connected to the like a CO1 methyl group here it is uh, nothing but B this is called 9BBN uh, 9BORA bicyclononane 9BORA bicyclo 3.3.1 nonane so if it is possible I will explain uh, like a uh, 
a line between boron chemistry so it is very chiral axillary so now here it creates the like hydroboration form hydroboration form so generally here it is uh, already prepared the alkylated uh, boron derivative so that's why so our group which are connected to the our alkyl group that is ch2 10 cn group so here it is the alkyl group here it is r this is called r dash r dash bromide r b r boron will use the r r dash here it is the r here it is the r dash we will get the like r r dash product r r dash product here it is the r dash here it is the r okay so this is the tenth example now let us discuss some other examples regarding to the uh, suzuki coupling reaction now let us look at uh, the problem number 11 so here first of all here it is the olefin so that olefin having the like a hydro that undergoes the hydroboration reaction that means here hydrogen here boron now here uh, which is connected to the hydrogen which is connected to the boron this is nothing but 9 bbm 9 boron bicyclo nonane okay now here th this is the boron reagent so whenever after the boron reagent we use it the like a palladium catalyst uh, palladium cl2 like a dppf now what will happen here it is the boron boron attached carbon and the halogen attached carbon these both these both are formed the new cc bond these both are coupled together to form the new cc bond that means here it undergoes the like a intramolecular cyclization reaction intramolecular cyclization reaction so now here one two three so one two three so third position and benzene position which are connected to the directly then it is called like a new cc bond formation reaction here it is formed the new cc bond this this is a, an example about a intramolecular cyclization product of a Suzuki reaction. Okay, now we was looked out the problem number 12. Now here I uh, think it is mistaken. So now here Br2 iodine. Okay, so generally so here it is the direct problem boron attached carbon, halogen attached carbon. They both are directly connected to each other. Simply here it forms the new Suzuki bond. Here it forms the new Suzuki bond. That is the enough. Okay, now the problem number 13. So now here so boron compound which are connected to the halogen uh, like a uh, halogen attached uh, aryl group now here it creates the, this type of a formula this type of a formula oh methyl so now in the in this case of a fourth fourth uh, like a 14th one now here boron which is connected to the base then it becomes a like a tetraboration here o o this is the product okay now here which which attached to the o ethyl that is a transmetallation okay now here it becomes o minus b b minus b minus whenever these group which are which are connected to the like a palladium here halogen here it is the like alkyl group okay now this this is the l2 in the in the case of a catalytical cycle so after the formation of rx now we use it the like a boron compound through the sodium metallization now here these are uh, these halogen group replaced by the these r dash these are double dash i think uh, or i represent the r double dash now here it becomes palladium l2 here it is the r group now here r r now remaining one is the same bottom one is the same now again it releases the remaining byproduct as a this is the product o o like boron here it is the hydrogen here it is the like a corresponding o ethyl or whatever the remember thing whatever the remaining thing as a byproduct now here this is the major product this is the major product regarding to the problem number 40 now the problem number 15 which is uh, uh, included by the stereo stereo specific reaction now here they are given in the like a uh, uh, below the plane compound that is it is a chiral moiety so whenever these chiral moiety which are connected to the halogen so there is no given there is no uh, possibility for the like a uh, direct uh, boron attached compound but they are given in the uh, 9 bpm which undergoes the like alkene at, at alkene here it gives the like a like a hydroboration product hydroboration product and now here it is the COO methyl so here it undergoes the boron that is the hydroboration product so now which are connected to the our, our halogen group here OTBDMS OTBDMS now these two are connected to each other now here develops the new CC bond here it develops the new CC bond this is the problem number 15 okay these are the very easier problem among these 15 uh, several CSR problems are there if you want the if you go for the previous year problems regarding to the Suzuki reaction so definitely you will get the these problems only okay so these are the problems regarding to the Suzuki reaction thank you for watching